Welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub. Let's learn. Let's say user is saying, I have a web page where I have to download a couple of reports, but this reports do not have a name. There is only a download button. So if the user is entering the date, due date, it should be able to click and open that invoice, which is on the right hand side. Okay. The moment it clicks, it will open the invoice, something like this. So how would you do it? Because here you are not going to apply your dynamic selector on this one. Rather, you have to also work with the due date. Okay. So multiple two dimensional selectors that you have to use, right? Uh, as per the due date, you have to click here. As per the due date, you have to click here, depending on the due date custom is selecting. Okay. So this is a challenging um, environment uh, to, to design a workflow like, like that. Okay. So let's see how to design it. So I have already designed this. Let me run it first and show you how it works so that we can go ahead and design it completely. Okay. So I'm keeping this in the background. Now there'll be a prompt. Okay, the prompt has come and here let's say I'm going to select 2508-2020. Okay, so it should go ahead and click here. Whatever I'm selecting should go ahead and click on the admin set side download button. So here I'm going to copy paste. So you have to have a look where exactly it's clicking. Okay, click on okay. Just have a look on the screen. You saw that it just quickly clicked on this button and has opened this particular invoice for me. So how do you design such a dynamic selector? All right, so let's get started and start designing this from start to beginning. All right, so the very first thing what I will do, let me delete this. So the very first thing is I will ask for the file name, right? What is that file name you would like to select? So I'll use a input dialog box and here I will say enter the report name. Okay, what report you would like to download. So the moment he enters, let me create a variable called report name. Okay, so that's going to have the report name. Now the next thing, what would you do? The next thing is you have to click on the report, right? So before you do this, you have to attach browser activity I'm using for this example. Okay, attach browser. Let me also tell you why I'm using attach browser here. This particular page when you refresh it, right? This is dynamically changing. Okay, so for learning purpose, I'm just using attach browser so that this page remains constant and I try to click on the invoice to this value. Okay, so here I'm going to click on indicate browser on screen and highlight the browser understood okay so just by doing that i'll be using a partial selector right because i have already this will have a selector already so whatever activity i'm going to use it inside that becomes the partial selector fine so the next thing you wanted to click on the report isn't it so use a click activity and here indicate browser let's say let's say i'm going to uh, Let's say I'm going to work on the first one. So if, if you have to open this one, then you will be clicking on this. Okay. Now, once you do this, you have to literally read. As I always say, wherever you are working, you have to understand the background. So this is a tabular data, right? Row one, row two, row three, like that. It is in row and column format. So the moment I use the click activity here in the click activity, you have to study the selector. Okay, so in the selector, the moment I do this, it is telling the place where you clicked, right? That is in the table two, row number two. Okay, so what to understand it in a better way, always open in UI Explorer. Okay, in case you do not find table row and all that, you can always use, you know, UI Explorer and then add the required values to it. Okay, so now here, what happens in the column? the column name would remain the same because it's the last column which is the fourth column that would remain the same so only thing which will change the row depending on the file name the row is changing every time isn't it if i am selecting this file so the row becomes different if i select this one the row becomes different only the row number is changing but the column because i have to click here the column is constant correct so i don't have to do anything with the column all i have to work is the table row okay so table row here 
the table row what you got here right table row in case you have not got it you can simply type it as well okay table row uh, on the left hand side if you see table row if you do not have this window just type table row equals to some value so the table row is changing every time isn't it okay so let's let's come out of it for the moment let's go back to the studio so here it is two it's saying but it will it has to change dynamically so how it has to change the condition is as per i select the file name it should change so let's say this file what is the row of this file let's say it's two then it will say two if if the row file is three then this data should also say so like that i have to dynamically change for that what i'm going to do let me use a get attribute activity okay so i'll use a get attribute activity and here in the get attribute activity i'm going to indicate this particular option okay so this becomes like kind of an anchor okay so i'm using this value and here i will change it so what i'm going to do select for the get attribute activity select the selector okay go to the selector and open this in ui explorer so here we have to do few dynamic changes one is customer is entering what file he should select isn't it so i have to use the a name active accessibility name i have to use so i am using the a name here so here a name is as per what what customer is entering right so what i am going to do i am going to highlight the exact name between the single quote between the single quote okay and then right click and choose variable all right so what variable contains the user input at the beginning the report name right where i am asking in the input dialog box so i will be selecting this so as per the report name it's going to select where is that available okay so here what is happening here it is selecting the data so once it selects what i am going to do i am going to use one of the i wanted to identify what row that data falls in okay so if you scroll down there is something called table row table row this attribute i have to use so this data is in the row number 2 so like that i have to dynamically pick the value of the table row so what i am going to do i am going to save this all right so i have simply saved it and um, table column 3 okay fine everything is perfect and click on okay that will become stay red don't worry about that when you are using a variable so now what i want is the attribute table row so if you click on this you may not find the table row attribute here okay you uh, just try that if you have it very good if not see t t t so there is no table row attribute so what i am going to do here i am going to type it okay so table row the exact way it was written i am going to type it done now what this is going to do it is going to identify the value of the table row and that is going to pass it to this output variable so control plus k and i am simply giving a variable called table row so this variable is going to contain two three whatever the file you are you are going to select as per the user input is going to pick that table row index number and is going to pass it to this variable done okay now using this this variable what i am going to do i am going to make slight changes in this click option okay so see how nicely we are utilizing so here what i want is the table row value instead of 2 it should exactly go as per the value picked from the get attribute activity so i am going to right click on this and going to choose variable and here i am going to select table row so 2 3 whatever is coming from that it is going to fed into this done click okay all right so now my project is done so let me run it once again and let's see how it works okay so let me um, run it and keep your this one so let's say i'm going to select this one okay the third one okay so let it prompt all right the prompt has come so here i'm going to select this one so it should click here okay have a look on the screen i clicked on this click on okay just wait and watch if it is clicking have you seen that it clicked it okay so let's test some more a uh, couple of more let's say i wanted to select uh, let me go to a different page okay i went to the third page let's say here uh, this one right i want to click on let's say 11 2020 okay this report it should click so let me run it again all right i'm waiting for that prompt okay the prompt has come so now here what i'm going to do 
enter this and click on okay so it should click here okay just watch click on okay you saw so it's opening the proper invoices for me so this is a dynamic way of using the selector where where you want to click is not exactly that one with the reference of the side column you are trying to click okay i hope uh, this is helping you please do subscribe to our channel guys in case you have not sub sub subscribed uh, we are coming up with lots such uh, knowledgeable videos please do subscribe please do like all the video that you are watching thank you so much have a great day